Namaste, my kings and queens. Thank you so much for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a presence, so it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. I am sending you all peace, healing, love, and prosperity, and also health and wealth. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Of course, if I resonate with you, um, hit the bell so that you're alerted every time that I upload, okay? Thank you to the new subscribers. I see you. And if you are returning, welcome back, my loves. All right, so I'm switching it up. I'm doing something a little different. I've actually already pre-pulled for you, okay, Divine Feminine? Um, and we're going to clarify together, all right? So I pulled a Surrender Oracle, some Tarot, and a Kipper, all right? So for your Oracle, Divine Feminine, you have surrendered to what is. Okay, it says flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation compassionately, accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. So I feel like spirit is needing you to know that no matter where you are right now in life, you're there for a reason. Okay, everything happens for a reason. All right. And so you may be in a situation that you feel like you shouldn't be in or you don't deserve to be in or you wish you were further along than you are. That's fighting against it. That's fighting against your present situation. And so simply finding a way to let it go or release it or accept it, embrace it. is what your main focus should be, all right? That's what's gonna bring you your peace, okay? And I'm also hearing gratitude, gratitude. Be grateful for where you are right now because it could be way, way worse, collective, all right? For your oracle, which is so symbolic and in total sync with your oracle, we have the five of pentacles and the 10 of cups, right? Right? So it just makes so much sense. I feel like if some of you are feeling left out in the cold, feeling like, you know, you're just at a loss, you're wayward, you don't know which way to go, all right? You're not happy with your situation, all right? You feel like you're failing others around you, maybe people you feel like you have to tend to and take care of. Seeing the good in this situation, embracing this situation, okay? If you are in this type of situation with someone, embracing each other, okay? That's going to bring you this peace. That's going to bring you this acceptance, this compassion, all right? If you can't understand and accept where you are in life, how can you do that for somebody else? It's not possible. And if you are trying to do that, that is fabrication, abomination I'm hearing. Okay, false advertisement. You can't do it. Okay, so actually freeing yourself, okay? Freeing yourself from the negative thinking about your situation, right? And also there's people around you who want to help you, who want to give you a helping hand. But with release, releasing the feeling about how you feel where you are because Feeling that way is bringing you shame. You're being prideful, right? You're feeling like you're embarrassed. I'm getting a, a bit of an embarrassment, okay? But once you embrace it and once you accept it and own it and work towards moving forward from it, people are going to start seeing that, okay? Okay? People gravitate towards individuals who are working to get out of a situation, not just wallowing in it. 
okay? People who accept the situation for what it is, like, you know what? I'm in this situation, but thank God I got this. I'm in this situation, but thank God I'm not here. Or thank God I don't have to worry about this, right? And with thanking God and having that gratitude, he's going to take you out of the dark and into the light. Okay? It's in your destiny. But it's all about getting out of your own head. Then we have the house, right? The house, the mansion, the five story, right? Or it could just be your own apartment. You just bought a new house right so look at the stair steps here right you're going from surrendering to what is to your peace into your stability it's just it's right here it's in the cards everything you ever wanted is all in your imagination right manifestation has a lot to do with the imagination divine feminine it really does and then look at the bottom of the deck we have mature woman that's you that's you you are high valued no matter where you may see yourself at right now the divine looks at you as royalty and i feel like a lot of you a lot of you know or you feel it. You feel that you're royalty. You feel that you are an empress. You feel that you are a queen. But something in, energetically, energetically is keeping you from believing it. Look at her face. It's like she is the main woman. She is royalty and everything. But do she know? I don't know. That could also be like a little snide look. Like what? Say something. <laughs> but nevertheless, let's go ahead and clarify, collectives. Let's get some additional messages for my beautiful, lovely, divine feminines. All right. Let's see. Holy divine angels, please provide me additional messages for the divine feminines, please. What else do you want to know? Holy Spirit, provide me additional messages, please. For my divine feminines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Wow. So the Nine of Pentacles is in reverse. <clears throat> the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So this takes me back to the Five of Pentacles, right? So it's like you're going to the, from the Five of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles, but it's in reverse, right? Again, it's like you, you're not recognizing your worth here you're just not like you're not seeing who and what you are right it's like you are the nine of pentacles you are the shit you are single fancy and free living life abundantly right but because you may be in a situation that you're not happy with it's blocking you from seeing that and it's causing insecurities, okay? It's causing you to feel like you're not worthy. I'm not pretty enough or I'm not wealthy enough or I don't have a money to, enough money to do this or I don't have enough money to do that. No, stop. You are amazing and somebody else sees you as such. For some of you, you could be having these insecurities within a love connection, okay, within a relationship, and it's causing it to turn upside down with the lovers in reverse. Somebody feels your energy slipping away, and I also get the energy of this person communicating this to you, trying to uplift you, trying to remind you of who you are, like, no, you got this. I married you for a reason. 
I know your worth and so do you. This too shall pass. Right? Like the collective. No, you got this. Let me clarify the lovers in reverse for my divine feminines. You're amazing. It's the lovers in reverse. Vacation flew out, but I'm going to try to shuffle a few more times. What's the lovers in reverse? Maybe that's what some of you are in need of. A vacation. I also feel the energy of someone wanting to take you on one, but you just not feeling like you're up to it. We have, you can't hurt me anymore for the lovers in reverse. So I do feel like some of you may have been hurt in the past or may have been hurt within this connection here. All right. I stalk you online. And then we have, I have to let this burn. Where's my sage? So mm, some of you, your distraction could be a recent breakup. That's maybe why you're in this five of pentacles energy. And you're not seeing what the universe truly has for you here. Or maybe you've seen it with this person, right? But the only reason why the connection isn't progressing is because you're not feeling at your best. And that's nobody else's business but yours. That's nobody else's responsibility but yours, collective, to make sure you're feeling at your best. You're at your tip top tippy top mentally physically emotionally spiritually right because when you're not in the receiving mode anyway no one can love you the way they want to or the way you want to because you're not even in the receiving mode to receive that love right you're feeling like yeah you know like you don't even have to put any effort into yourself anymore and that's not it continue to progress get up Day by day, if you have to just take one day at a time, do your makeup, do your hair, go for a walk, you know, just do something for yourself, like day by day, look in the mirror, get in the mirror, Divine Feminine, bare face, look at yourself in the eyes, connect with yourself again, turn these, this Nine of Pentacles upside down. And be that boss chick living abundant. Okay? All right. Um, what do I want to pull? Let me pull one more oracle. Let me go ahead and do a um, self-care oracle for you, Divine Feminine. My beauty queens and kings. Holy Divine Spirit, please provide me a self-care oracle for the Divine Feminines. Alright, so actually two came out. We have flow like water. Ooh, with um connect to the earth. Man. Ooh, this flow like water is bomb. So again, this taps into your oracle, your surrender oracle. Flow with what is. Flow like water. Some of you guys could be water signs, but like it's so in sync. Flow like water. All right. Go with the flow of how you feel emotionally. All right, and answer and be receptive to how you feel. Pay attention to how you feel. Some of you may need to actually go for a swim, go for a dive, go to the pool, go to the beach, you know, take a nice spiritual bath, right? Connect with nature, connect with water is very significant for you right now. Some of you may have a tattoo on your thigh here. I'm also getting long, black, beautiful hair. I mean, I'm hearing tend to your hair, collective. Your hair is your crown. And then we have connect with earth. So this is really giving me grounding energy. For sure. Whatever it is that you can do 
in regards to getting close to trees, flowers, um, dirt, grass, anything. Doesn't matter. Do it. Okay? And feel it. When you're in the moment of, of practicing any one of these self-care rituals, I need you to be in the moment. I need you to feel it wholeheartedly, okay? So that's what I have for you, Divine Feminine. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. I love you. Ashe.